Hello programmers. In today's class, I will explain what is solver tool in Open Office Calc. Solver amounts to a more elaborate form of goal C. The difference is that solver deals with equations with multiple unknown variables. It is specifically designed to minimize or maximize the result according to a set of rules that you define. That means it's just like goal seek only, but in this solver tool, you can give some conditions. Uh, how we do that? Uh, let me explain you through an example. Here I've taken an example of a manufacturing uh, unit. This manufacturing unit is manufacturing pen. And here I've created a table where the selling price of one pen is 10 rupees. The cost price of one pen is two rupees. Expenditure of that plant is 10,000 and the number of pen manufactured is 2,000. So let us first calculate the profit or the loss. So here I'll use the same formula that is equal to. Now the quantity, quantity is in this cell that is E14. I will multiply this quantity with the uh, selling price minus cost price. Now finally I will subtract the expenditure. So this will give me the profit or the loss for our plant. Now. Uh, what will be the profit or loss per pen? So that will be equal to whatever the profit and loss divided by whatever the quantity is there. So this will give us the profit and loss for one pen. So that is 3 rupees. Now here I'll explain you through two cases. So uh, first of all I'll go to solver. Before that in our first case and in second case in both the cases I want to increase my profit uh, from 6000 to 8000 that means I want to achieve 8000 profit so this is the target now what is the condition I'll give a uh, uh, condition to the selling price that means I don't want to increase the price of uh, my pen manufacturing that means I want to keep it 2 rupees only and I cannot change the quantity as well because I know the production cannot go beyond this limit. So I am going to just change the selling price of uh, my pen that means which was 10 rupees uh, the maximum uh, amount I can increase is 12 rupees only that means 2 rupees with the increase of 2 rupees I can manage and I want to achieve a target of 8000 rupees. So how I can do that for that I have to go to tools option and then I have to select solver. Now this will give us a dialog box. Now it's asking for a target cell. In this I have to give the cell address of this 6000 because this is the cell I am targeting. Now you can give optimize result to. You can select maximum or minimum or exact value. That means uh, you can give the value here and you can select uh, this should be the maximum value I want or this should be the minimum value I want or this is the exact value I want. So I want exactly 8000 as my profit so I'll enter here 8000. Now by changing cell, now here you can specify the cell for which you want to change the uh, value. That means uh, through uh, like I'm, I'm selecting selling price why because I want to change only uh, value of the selling price of my pen. Uh, so I'll select the cell range, the cell address of this cell and now here you can give condition you can give four conditions here i'll give i'll select the cell address for which i want to give condition so click on this cell reference and then which cell you can change or which cell you want to give condition so i want to give condition to my uh, e11 now i want to increase uh, the price the selling price of a pen is maximum 12 rupees that means it should be less than or equal to so uh, you can select the operator from here you can use any operator less than greater than equal to or integer or binary so I'm selecting less than equal to and I can give the value here I'll give value as 12 only so I don't want to go beyond 12 rupees and then finally you can click on so so here I have given only one condition that is I want to change the selling price maximum to uh, 12 rupees. Now you can click on solve. So this will give you the result solving successful and 8000 I have achieved my target and then if you want to keep the result click on keep result in this way. So can you see this now it's the profit is 
8000 and the price which was 10 rupees has increased to 11 rupees so just by increasing 1 rupee I'll achieve my target now in second case what I am going to do is I'll give two conditions instead of one condition either increase the price of the selling price of my pen um, by 2 rupees or I can even uh, reduce the cost price but I do not want to go less than 1 so I can specify the condition the cost price should be greater than equal to 1 rupees that means at least 1 rupees for making the pen I require and it should not be uh, it should be less than equal to 2 that means it should not go beyond 2 rupees so for this again I'll change the values I'll use 10 rupees only and this was 6000 the profit was 6000 when I was selling the pen for 10 rupees now for this I'll again select this or you can go to tools and then solver now which cell is the target cell so my target cell is this only as I want to increase the profit or uh, profit so here again you can use maximum minimum or the exact value I'm giving the exact value as 8000 I want my profit as 8000 only now by changing cell here keep the cursor and I want to change these two values so can you see this I've selected both the cells either uh, increase the amount of selling price or I can even reduce the price of uh, uh, my pen manufacturing uh, price of my pen that is the cost price now let me give the condition here so for this uh, click on the cursor and then it's giving what for selling price I have to select this cell so this is giving me uh, the selling price I'll tell you this is the selling price so I'll select this and then now this is E11 now it should be either less than equal to what 12 rupees so I can mention here 12 rupees that means do not go beyond 12 rupees now click on this and then I'm going to give another condition another condition for my uh, cost price so I'll select the cell that is and then I'll give the condition it should be either less than equal to 2 rupees that means should not I cannot increase the manufacturing price uh, beyond 2 it should be less than 2 one more condition I'm going to give and then what is select the same cell and then I will use a greater than equal to operator here it should be greater than equal to 1 that means at least 1 rupees I require to manufacture that and I can click on solve so here I've given three conditions and you can click on solve so this will give you the result as 8000 you can keep the result if you want and now you can see I have achieved a profit of 8000 here by just reducing the cost price of my pen by 1 earlier it was 2 rupees so I have reduced the cost price uh, of the pen by 1 rupee so this is the way you can use solver in open office calc now let me show you one more example here in this example uh, I'll, I'll explain you the question first I've taken a table here let's say you have 10,000 that you want to invest in two mutual funds for one year that means two mutual funds are there fund X and fund Y you, the time period is one year for both now fund X is a low risk fund with 8% interest rate that means for X we have taken rate as 8% fund Y is a higher risk fund with 12 interest rate so I've given 12% or 12 for this interest rate for Y fund now how much money should be invested in each fund to earn a total interest of 1000 that means what is the amount I should invest I should invest to get interest of 1000 that means this is the column for interest earned so it will be calculated uh, it will be some of the interest earned for my X fund and Y fund so how we will do this again with the help of uh, solver only first we have to type some formulas here so <coughs> first I will type the formula for amount invested for fund Y 
it will be whatever the amount I have that means cell C4 minus whatever amount I have invested for my X fund. So that means the total amount I have in my hand and minus the amount I have invested in X fund will the remaining amount I can invest for my Y fund. So this is the formula that is C4 minus C2 if I give I will get the amount for this Y fund. Now at present there is no amount in this X that's why it's giving us 10,000 okay. So this we will calculate by using solver only. Now I'll start writing formula for this that is the interest earned for X fund. Here we'll use the same formula which is P into R into T upon 100 that is amount invested this one into rate into time divided by 100. So this is the formula for interest earned for X. Now for Y also we have to write the same thing that means P yani ki amount invested into R into T divided by 100. This will give me the interest for my X and Y. So right now I have 10,000 in my hand that's why I am getting 1200 value for Y fund. Now what will be the total interest I have earned? So that will be the sum of these two. So let me write the formula for this cell also that is it will be the sum of the interest earned for Y plus the sum of interest earned in my X fund. So this will give me the total interest. Now the question is how much money should be invested in each fund? That means how much I have to invest in these two funds so that I can earn a total interest of 1000. That means here I want 1000 as my amount. So what should I do? What should be the amount invested in these two cells? Now I will go to tools menu and then I'll select solver. So this is the dialog box. First is the target cell. So which cell you want to target? In my case, this is the cell I want to target as I want 1000 in this cell. So click on this, this will take the cell address. Now optimize result tool. What is the value you want to achieve? So I'll give the exact value as 1000. I want 1000 as my interest earned total. So by changing cell, so which is the cell you want to change here? So in this cell, as I want the amount invested for my X uh, fund only, so I'll click on this C2 so that I can get this uh, amount invested for uh, X fund. So select this cell, this will give you C2. Now let us give the condition here. For this condition, I'm taking cell C2 only because I want to give condition that the amount I have invested it should not go beyond this 10,000 because I have only 10,000 in my hand. So I'll give the condition as, as it should be less than, it should be less than equal to what amount, the amount I have saved here. That is the C4. That is, sorry, yeah. I have to click on this cell. This C2 should be less than equal to click on the cell and then select this. So this is the condition I have given the cell C2 that means the fund X amount invested it should be less than or equal to 10,000. 10,000 is stored in this cell C4. So I have given C2 should be less than or equal to C4. Now I will give one more condition here. It should be the C2 should be greater than equal to 1 at least 1 rupees I have to invest. So for this I have not saved one anywhere so I'll just type a 1 and I will clear this. This was from previous example. So I've given the conditions C2 should be less than equal to uh, C4 which is 10,000. At the same time it should be greater than equal to 1 and when I click on solve this will give me the amount. I'll keep the result and now see. The interest earned for my X fund will be 400 and for Y it will be 600 that will make it 1000. 
and the amount I have to invest in X will be 5 as well as in Y it will be 5000 so that I have 10,000 in my hand to invest. So this is the way you can use solver and you can specify many conditions. Thanks for watching.